1MDB has sparked embezzlement and money laundering investigations across One of the biggest corruption countries. scandals the world has ever seen. What may be the biggest financial scam in the history. Of corrupt 1MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Follow us as we bring you into the courtroom where the biggest financial scandal in Malaysian history is being heard. By the Malaysian Insight, this is the Najib Razak 1MDB trial, and I'm Patrick Teo. The Najib Razak trial heard today that businessman Lo Teg Joe had approached Ambank in 2009 for a 10 billion ringgit bond issuance with a 30-year tenure for a sovereign wealth fund to develop Tranganu but which later became One Malaysia Development Berhad, One MDB. Joanna Yu, a former relationship manager at Ambank, testified at the Kuala Lumpur High Court that the bank held a meeting with Tringano Investment Authority, or TIA, officials to discuss the issuance of the bond. The meeting was attended by Yu's colleague, while TIA was represented by Sharo Azral Ibrahim Halmi, former 1MDB Chief Executive Officer, Tang King Chi, former 1MDB Executive Director, and Lo. <coughs> it's Thursday, October 13th, and Najib's One Malaysia Development Burhat trial resumed at the Kuala Lumpur High Court this morning. Najib is standing trial for graft involving 2.28 billion ringgit in 1MDB funds. He faces 25 charges, 4 for abuse of power and 21 for money laundering for offences committed between 2011 and 2013. He is now serving a 12-year jail term in Kajang prison for the SRC case. testified that Joe Lo and Tang asked many questions and inquired about the typical issues involved in the issuance of a bond, the structures and the timeline to issuance. She told the court before Justice Colin Lauren Sequeira that Ambank were initially asked to provide a proposal for a 10 billion ringgit bond issuance with a 30-year tenure. However, in the end, TIA agreed to a reduced 5 billion ringgit government guaranteed bond for 30 years. She then disclosed that she first met the Penang born Lo in 2007, two years before the establishment of TIA. At that time, Yu was working to secure loans for majestic masterpiece Syndrome Berhad, a company controlled by Lo. You added that Majestic Masterpiece wanted to buy shares in two companies, Low and Low Corporation Berhad and Putrajaya Perdana Berhad. Majestic Masterpiece is owned by Winton Private Equity Group and Abu Dhabi Kuwait Malaysia Investment Corp. Joe Low was one of the directors of Winton. You, the prosecution's 41st witness, continued by saying that Lowe informed Ambank that his team was looking to set up a sovereign wealth fund to raise funds to develop the state of Tranganu, not long after the majestic masterpiece loan was approved by the bank. Lowe told us that Tunku Rahima, the Sultan of Tranganu's sister, was one of the directors in Lowe and Lowe. They wanted to develop the state she stated. Najib was present today in the courtroom from Kajang prison. During the trial this morning, his wife Rosma Manso handed Najib a cup of Gloria Jean's coffee to the jailed former Prime Minister and he sipped from it. The trial is to resume on November 7. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by the Malaysian Insight. It was written by Alfian Tahir and I'm Patrick Teo.